we're doctors, and we're about to do doctor-type things. Aha! Mm, mm. And play together. Uh. Join Yogi. Shoot up! And Top Cat. And Snagglepuss. Elkabong. Wally Gator. Oggy Doggy. Doggy Daddy. The Banana Splits. Cool. Johnny Quest. Haji. Shag Rug. Captain Caveman. And, and, man, there's a lot in the new series, Jellystone. Jeff. Ha, good morning. I love your first name. <laughs> <laughs> I love yours too. <laughs> man, this is such a thrill to meet you. I've been a fan for so many years. Oh. And uh, I, I'm just tickled pink that you said yes to this interview. Thank you so much, Jeff. Oh, my goodness. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Well, well, we're here to talk about Jellystone, the new series on HBO Max. And, you know, the world of Hanna-Barbera, I'm Generation X, you know, so I grew up in the early 70s watching these classic cartoons, some of the best memories, you know, of my childhood. Um, but this is rebooted, right? It's a totally new setting. Yogi Bear and Boo Boo are doctors at Jellystone Hospital. Uh, I mean, this, this not only did they look different, as you can see behind me, but uh, it, taking them out of their normal environment, you know, I think that was a great idea. I mean, we don't need to see more stories in the park, right? I think what's really cool about this show is you get to see Yogi Bear, Cindy, Boo Boo, Ranger Smith. You get to see Captain Caveman, Jabberjaw, Wally Gator, Jinx the Cat. It's just a great iconic library of Hanna-Barbera characters that converge in kind of this one universe and it's called Jellystone. And yes, Yogi is a very serious, I'm a very serious doctor doing very serious doctor type things, but I'm still trying to get food. <laughs> <laughs> that is classic. You do that so well. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of my uh, concerns was when I saw this show is that, you know, there's so many people my age who grew up with these classic characters and changing them and making them different for a new generation. I'm all behind it. You know, but it's, it's really delicate to mess with people's memories, isn't it? It is. It's a very, very kind of thin line because it's our childhood. It's what formed us. It was our daily diet. So they still really have the essences of the characters. And I think, you know, whenever you look, even an old Bugs Bunny cartoon, you know, they're different. They vary because of the direction and the writing and the animators. So I think with Jellystone, they still are who they are, but they do look a little more modern. And the pacing is so much faster. In, oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, at 21 minutes, they have two episodes in, in one episode, so or two stories in one episode. Yeah. So it moves along great. Now, I'm all for reimagining the characters and updating them for Next Generation. But OK, but wait a minute. Jabberjaw is a female now because <laughs> one of my classic punishments, spankings by my grandmother was doing Jabberjaw at eight years old over and over and over. And as you know, it was Curly Howard from the Three Stooges, right? That's so right. Grandma had enough of it one day when she kept telling me to stop talking like Jabberjaw. But now Jabberjaw is a female. So that was kind of jarring. Yeah, Jabberjaw is a female. And Ranger Smith, who was the park ranger in Jellystone Park, uh, Ranger Smith, uh, another voice that I do, is now elevated to President Ranger Smith. <laughs> yes. So we've got that. And then, of course, I do uh, Jinx the Cat, you know, and, and Jinx is uh, he's kind of the right hand man, you know, to uh to uh, Ranger Smith, uh, you know, he, he, he. <laughs> and Top Cat didn't sound too much like Phil Silvers this time. <laughs> Top Cat is, yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Captain Caveman is still very similar. Wally Gator is another voice that I do. Wally is still the same. Everybody's favorite swinging alligator. <laughs> And Snagglepuss, you know, what is Murgatroyd? You know, it's one of the greatest expressions of all time. Heavens to Murgatroyd. I always, as a kid, I'm like, what does that mean? And no one could ever answer that. It's one of the great mysteries of life, Jeff. We'll <laughs> never know. <laughs> and you have a great story about meeting Mel Blanc, who did all the classic Warner Brothers cartoons. Uh, I wonder if you could share that with us. Well, it was about 40 years ago. I was uh, in my junior year at the University of Pittsburgh and Mel Blanc was giving a performance lecture there. And I just happened to find out after the lecture where he was staying and knocked on his hotel room about 10 o'clock at night. And when I knocked on the door, I heard a voice that sounded a little bit like Barney Rubble. Uh, well, uh, uh, just a jiffy. And he came to the door and he was this big and he was so sweet and so nice. I mean, can you imagine? He said to me, who are you? You know, what, are you Jewish or Italian? And I said, uh, I'm Jewish. He said, all right, well, come on in. And so imagine something like that happening today. Uh, and he was so sweet and let me, uh, you know, come into his hotel room. And we talked for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour. So 
that was really a, a, a kind of a watershed moment for me. Well, you got to pay that forward, Jeff, you know, in case a young fan finds you in your hotel room one night or something or oh your my God. and knocks on the door and says, Jeff, I'm such a fan. And you, you got to pay it forward though. But the question is, what voice will I sound like? That's <laughs> true. We're going to answer the door. Like, don't, don't answer like Snagglepuss. They'll, they'll run away. <laughs> and you also voice Bugs Bunny and you were in Space Jam too. And you've been voicing Bugs for over 30 years now. It's too dark. I'm the voice of the rabbit, all right. And I think I should have taken that left time at Albuquerque. Oh, well. Yes, it's been about, uh, yeah, 30, 31 years I've been doing Bugs. So this was really, uh, I can't even tell you what a tremendous honor it was to be in this film. Uh, it, I was. It must be also great for someone like Warner Brothers to know they have one person they can go to Yosemite Sam, Sylvester, Duff, Daffy Duck. You're a one man stop for all their characters. Well, I had a wonderful time because not only did I get to do Bugs and, and <laughs> Sylvester and Yosemite Sam and Yogi Bear, but I got to do my pal sitting next to me, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I could hear you. You must be doing so many people's voicemail openings. It's crazy. <laughs> there was a time. Yes, there was a time. You know, I had also an experience like that when I was younger. When I was 16 years old, I was at a Disney convention in 1982, and I got to spend 20 minutes with Clarence Nash. And that oh, was like goodness. one of my favorite moments, you know, growing up. And he was so cool and so nice. And uh, so Clarence Ducky Nash. That's really? him. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I and because I was a kid, I wanted to learn how to do Donald Duck. And I auditioned for Duck Days back when I was in college and all these different things. But as we know, Tony Anselmo has been the voice of Donald Duck for many, many decades. So. Yeah, uh, he does a great job. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah. And also one of my best friends and colleagues is Tony Toscano in Salt Lake. He's a film critic. And uh, over the decades, uh, he told me, well, my aunt is June Foray. And once upon a time, oh. we had, he goes, we're going to have lunch with my aunt June. And I was like, this is not happening. Right. And so that was another watershed moment for me in meeting my, my, my idols of animation. I mean, these are some of the greatest people. I mean, I, I was fortunate too, Jeff. I got to work with June Foray and she was in her 90s. And still was granny. I mean, it's yes. just incredible. Oh, I mean, unbelievable. And, uh, you know, and also I'm meeting another legend today. So this has been a total thrill for me, Jeff. And uh, I could listen to you all day because as a kid, I could do all these voices too when I was a little boy. All the, I mean, I entertain my friends and family, but then puberty hit and all of a sudden your voice changes <laughs> and you're like, why can't I do those voices anymore? And, uh, and I've tried over the years. And I'm like, I know when I don't sound like them and I'm not going to embarrass myself. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Well, this has been so much fun for me. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure and good luck with the series. Thank you so much. And that's all, folks. Hey, Yogi Bear. <laughs> You're awesome, Jeff. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Take care, buddy.